Hello, American Studies. Today I want to talk about a uh, really disturbing and sad event in world history that uh, happened during World War II. Uh, it corresponds with uh, chapter th or section three of the current unit, 16.3. So uh, the Holocaust, we look back on today uh, and uh, recognize that it's the largest genocide in modern history. Um, around 11 million people died as a result of the Holocaust. What I want you to keep in mind, though, as you're thinking about this event is that it didn't just happen all at once. It happened in stages. So as you're thinking about the essay that you're going to write and the assessment about the Holocaust, I want you to start by thinking about how to write that essay, uh, explaining how the, the timeline unfolded. So um, what happened first? Well, the Nazis, as part of their political platform, used racial purity as one of the uh, aspects of their platform, and they, they instantly started to vilify Jews and other people that they called undesirables. Um, and, and you listed those in your study guide. There were a multitude of groups that the Nazis did not like and thought they should be taken out of their society. So uh, this is an example of a Jewish propaganda showing the you know sturdy German worker on the the left and the uh, uh, the Jew who um, is looked at in a very derogatory way on the right. So the persecution actually began in 1933. That's uh, that was on your study guide as well when non Aryans were removed from government positions. This this was. You know, not not horrible. It wasn't violent. It just removed them from uh, important parts of society. Later, the Nuremberg Laws were passed, and they uh, these were more punitive. These made Jews wear this yellow star of David. Uh, it punished Jews if they tried to leave Germany by confiscating their property. So a few, some Jews actually did escape Germany, like Albert Einstein in 1933. He saw what was happening and, and got out before the Nuremberg Laws were passed. <clears throat> the, the destructive part of the Holocaust started in 1938, November 9th, uh, when uh, Kristallnacht um, marked the, the beginning of the actual physical violence against Jews. It was known in history as the, the Night of Broken Glass. Um, but this, this, once again, is the first violent actions against the Jews. So the mass killing begins after a conference. Um, well, actually, the, con the Wansi Conference happened after the war began. Uh, but the killings started after the invasion of Poland when these SS death squads called Einsatzgruppen. There were four of them. I shared a video about that with you. But this marks the first uh, wholesale killing of, of Jews and other non-desirables. And this amounted to a, around one million people dying during the Holocaust. But this happened from the beginning of the actual war um, all the way up until probably 1943 or so uh, when the death camps were, were created. So <clears throat> I just mentioned you, to you the Wannsee Conference. This, this was a conference where some top-level SS and other Nazi uh, people got together and they discussed, they discussed what can we do to more efficiently rid Europe of Jewry. And they decided to build this series of death camps throughout Poland. There were six, six of them, I believe. Uh, and this is a picture of the main gate at Auschwitz, and um, it's the most notorious. It's the it was the largest death camp. Uh, Treblinka was Treblinka was the second largest, but um, these camps had one sole for purpose, and that was to transport Jews there and other undesirables and kill them, and um, many other atrocities were to happen. Some of the most shocking things that happened in the Holocaust were the atrocities committed by the SS on Jews, and it, and it, it just unspeakable things like 
um, women's hair was was used to make cloth. So when women who had long hair came into camps, they they were their hair was cut, collected, uh, sorted, and then used to make cloth. Here's a picture of some cloth uh, women's hair cloth from the Auschwitz archives. Um, ashes were used after the bodies were disposed of and burned in crematoriums, and they were collected and used for farm fertilizer on farm fields. Um, horrible experiments were done by SS doctors that maimed and killed many, many Jews. And uh, one of the most uh, outlandish things that happened was when they they used skin from Jews to make trophies like lampshades. There were there were other horrible atrocities that I'm not going to mention here, but um, we look back and this is one of the most evil events, especially on a mass scale in world history. And um, but you see how this slideshow started back at the beginning and it and it ramped its way all the way up to the end. So that's how you should think about crafting your essay uh, when you start making that planning process. I hope this helps. And um, until we talk again, take care and be safe.